comes to presentations, we have new businesses, pet passages, uh, Mr. Sam Johnson. Uh, Sam, come on up. And Sam's also, uh, what is your title at the VFW? It's a chief or, or what? what, what at, at the VFW, I'm, I'm just a member at the VFW, but I was blessed. Uh, uh, be, I'm still in the Marine Corps. I'm a lieutenant colonel in the United States Marine Corps Reserves. That's right. So, okay. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you were... Uh, and, and you, are you in the, the VA? I am, okay. and I, I do want to just say to the council, thank you very much for the support that you've given VFW 2423. Uh, it is a benchmark for other posts across the nation and how we can interact with our local communities and uh, well, how we I want can do to tell better. You something. I don't know if you know you, these guys did that this week or, or not, but they went over to an old graveyard on 74 mm -hmm. Saturday, and I went over and I met them, uh, and unfortunately I had another commitment to make, but... Uh, the next time I'll go back with them because they said they're not done with it. But that's a, that's the kind of VFW that we have that they go to a gra this graveyard. Had, I went actually and took pictures of it the day before, and uh, it was quite fascinating. We're, we're talking 1800s people from early 1800s and 1800s. It was uh, it, it, and it was all grown up. And they were out there working hard uh, to clean it up, and uh, hopefully I'll get out there to help them the next time they're out there working on it. Everyone's but, invited. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you. Well, go ahead. I didn't mean to, to uh, interrupt you. Go ahead. Well, thank you, Mary. Uh, thank you to uh, Council, especially Council Member Barber, for uh, this invite. I am blessed to uh, have opened a new business here in Union County, specifically off 74. Uh, if we you all remember that white building that was vacant for forever, I finally took over that building uh, right there across the street from Sonic, and uh, we have opened Pet Passages. We are a pet funeral home and pet cremation service. So we are here to help those families that are grieving the loss of their uh, loved one and make it as uh, bearable as possible. So uh, we love uh, for the business and uh, here to support the, the town as well as the residents. Very good. And uh, you were telling me a little bit about it. Anybody have any questions? You were, you were telling me a little bit about it earlier, and I, I found that pretty yeah, fascinating. Yeah, so um, more than 80% of all households have pets now, and uh, that's even gone up with, with COVID. And uh, as we know, that uh, it's, it's a part that people don't realize. is like, oh, well, my vet handled it. Well, your vet never handles the aftercare. They always contract with a, with a cremation or a funeral home service. And that's the biggest thing is so, so people know that, um, you know, pets are just as much. I have a therapy dog, and, he, and she's just as much a part of my life as my family, and it will be devastating when I lose her. But I have that, that right uh, to, to choose the service. Um, we're also a much more cost-effective option for a lot of families. Uh, we have services as, as less as uh, $65. Um, and then you know, can go up from there. But we're here, again, uh, to make sure people know they have a choice and uh, love the community. I live in the community. Even though I have a Matthews address, the mayor informed me last uh, Memorial Day that even though I have a Matthews address, I do indeed live in Indian Trail. So we're just going to get those roads fixed. But I think I know a few people. <laughs> very, very good. Do you remember how I told you to look? Uh, I don't. Uh, the garbage can. Yeah, it was a garbage can. Look right. at your garbage That's right. can. Yeah. Your garbage yeah. can will tell you where you live. Yeah. So uh, anyway, well, thank you so much. Thank you for being here.